It's a historical moment. Joe Biden is not going to be the Democratic presidential nominee. He's out of the race. 50 years. He has been serving us in the Senate as vice president, as president. Uh, and today he's made a very difficult decision in the best interest of our nation. President Biden took the honorable path today and he did it for all the right reasons. President Biden endorsing his vice president, the Clintons in a joint statement endorsing the vice president. Now it's going to be Harris with Joe Biden serving as her coach. And with that, we say thank you for joining us here at 10. This is CBS News Texas for our continuing coverage of what's been another historic day. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Doug Dunbar. What a day it has been, right? So the pressure had been building for President Biden to pass the torch. And as we all know now, it happened earlier today. And that 81-year-old has now stepped away from his re-election bid. And he was very quick to already push for Vice President Kamala Harris to take his place. We get underway tonight with CBS's Natalie Brand, live for us at the White House. Natalie? Tonight, a small but emotional group gathered outside the White House. Many of them there say to thank the president and celebrate his legacy. CBS News has learned President Biden began to come to this decision last night after reflecting on the path forward. President Biden has dropped out of the presidential race, ending his bid for re-election just four months before the November vote. In a statement, the president said in part, quote, while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Biden's decision followed a debate performance that prompted more than three dozen Democratic lawmakers to urge him to pull out of the race. One of his closest allies, Delaware Senator Chris Coons, called it a very difficult decision. The challenge of seeing this moment and of recognizing what was in the best interest of the nation was a significant challenge. I still believe he could have beaten Donald Trump. The president's change of heart comes one month ahead of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Jamie Harrison is the chair of the DNC. This president, Joe Biden, has been a transformational president. He's been a great leader. President Biden offered his full support and endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris. In a statement, she said she's honored and that it's her intention to earn and win the nomination. Political heavyweights are already backing Vice President Harris, including both Clintons and many members of Congress. The framework of the race is clear at this point. Kamala Harris is going to prosecute this case for democracy and freedom across the country. Across the country, voters reacted from the battleground state of Wisconsin. Biden dropping out now really kind of changes a lot of what I was thinking as well, having to learn about a new candidate. To the nation's capital, where some supporters gathered to express their admiration for the president, including David Kiva, who has worked for him. I'm here today to help to celebrate his legacy and all that he's accomplished on so many issues, including the one that I work on, which is climate. The DNC says in the coming days, the party will undertake a transparent and orderly process to move forward as a united Democratic Party. CBS News has learned Vice President Harris spent the afternoon making calls to members of Congress. As of tonight, she has more than 100 endorsements from Democratic lawmakers to elected officials such as governors. As for President Biden, he's expected to address the nation on this matter later this week. 